Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, we will see if OTT really works good on the drum elements or not. For this, I just created some quick drum loop. Let's hear it first. Okay, it's kinda random, but we will get to the point now. Let's mix them according to each other. And just let's do the basics. Let's assign them all to a new mixer channel. Okay, it's all set now. Now let's balance the volumes. It's always good to keep the kick in safe levels. With this, your final mix down will have enough headrooms for mastering. I will just sidechain the shaker with the kick. Okay, let's go on. Okay, now I will just low cut some of the samples to achieve more clarity. Okay, let's take a listen what do we have. I will give a side chain to the perks lastly to make it more tight. Okay, let's bounce the loop now. Perfect. Now I'm going to mute it. And now I will use OTT on some of my samples. What does OTT do? You all know OTT is a compressor, down side, upside compressor from Ableton. But hopefully other DAWs can use it too as a separate VST. It's kind of different than the Ableton version, but still it works really well. So for example, to my claps, I will just add some OTT. Work with the depth knob. This is like the dry wet knob for the compressor. And in here you will see some knobs, low, mid and highs. For example, my claps can be a bit boosted on the highs, a bit less on the mids and like I will decide with my ears. If you go too much, I always find it too much compressed. Maybe you can use it on the synths, maybe like super softs, but not on the drums I think. So probably like 
20-25% will be enough. Let's hear it. Perfect. Try not to overuse it. I will do the same to the second claps. I think that's good. Let's go to the shaker and apply the same. You can use the output gain too. It will help you to create some similar vibe with Camel Crusher. If you boost it, it's going to be a bit like satura saturated. You might enjoy that effect too. Okay, now percussions. For example, I like to use it even more in my percussions. I like them squashed in the mix. Okay, now let's hear it. And let's render it. So now I will compare them A, B and we will see the difference. Yeah, it's really obvious. The one that we use OTT is all the elements are shining in the mix. Also, it's really bright, really powerful, really tight mix. So I was only using OTT for my synths, like for my leads. But for a while, I'm using them in my drum samples too. I hope you can apply this to your own productions too. Get some benefits of using OTT in the drums. Okay, today that was it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye bye.